for International Women's Day, I'm going to share some art that shapes the face of magic by some amazing female artists. Welcome to Signature Spellbomb, the YouTube channel for your oath-breaking needs. If you like our content, please remember to subscribe to the channel and do the YouTube thingies. Today, I'm going to go through some of my favorite pieces of art by prominent female Magic the Gathering artists for this International Women's Day. I'm going to put their links in the description so you can check out their galleries and maybe even consider supporting these artists by buying their prints. First off, I'm going to start with maybe one of the most famous Magic the Gathering artists with Rebecca Guay. I am in love with much of her art. It has been around since as early as I want to say the, the mid-90s. And most of it has a very beautiful, active watercolor feel. And it just gives it this very classical fantasy feel. Cards like Abundance, Inanimate Land, uh, and Bitter Blossom. They all feel like they tell a story just in the art alone. Please tell me what you think. For our next artist, I'd like to discuss the beautiful work of Winona Nelson. Much of it really transports you to another world. It's usually relatively saturated art. I love her work on some of the tokens she's produced over the years. As far as like the best known art that she's produced, I would say maybe both sides of Arla Cord. And her most recent uh, Planeswalker uh, Chandra that she did, and even the new Nico Aris, are just really wonderful cards that I would love to have copies of for my collection. Next up, I want to discuss the artwork of Heather Hudson. Much of it really takes you back to early magic. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put up some of what I think are the most conic artworks she's done. Most of it feels like it has, I think motion would be the, the way you would describe it. She's definitely one of my uh, favorite artists and many of her cards have had homes in my decks over the years. Now, I would like to switch gears here and talk about an art style I feel like is very different. I love the art style of Kaija Fajilo, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. It usually has a more animated or expressive feel, including some of her older cards. And I say when you look at them, you'll realize that like they're fairly iconic. Maybe animated feels not the right word, but I really do love her work as well. Finally, as far as like the earliest of earliest Magic the Gathering art, including even some stuff from Alpha and Beta, I would like to discuss the artist Sandra Everingham. I'm certain I, I destroyed that. Much of it is very memorable. The early circles of protection, uh, the original dark ritual, Dance of Many, which is a card I still play in some deaths, decks, and even the uh, kind of original iconic giant mouse art of uh, Giant Growth. So those are just a few of my favorite female Magic the Gathering artists. As I've said earlier in this uh, episode, I'd really like to hear you guys' opinions on any of the art pieces I share or the artist's work. And to let me know what Magic the Gathering artists you love and would like to see supported this International Women's Day. Again, I'm going to put a link in the, the description to galleries for all of these artists if you decide you want to support them. And if you want to support the channel, you can do the regular YouTube things. Here on the end card, I'm going to go ahead and throw up a deck tech and a link to one of my favorite review videos on the channel if you want to check out more today. I just want to say thank you again. I couldn't do this without you guys, and I wouldn't. And I hope you all have a great day.